Hi, this is Jake Fear from TM Sales, here today with Triangle Tube to show you how to replace an igniter on the PA series boiler. As always, we want to make sure the power to the boiler is off before we do anything. You will need a T25 Torx bit screwdriver. The igniter is located on top of the heat exchanger. You have two bolts, front and back. Remove both screws and set them off to the side. Once both screws are removed, pull the igniter straight up and out. We'll want to inspect the igniter for any damage. This one has some corrosion on the ceramic piece of the igniter, so we will replace this. Pull the ground rod or ground cable off of the igniter. Pull this clip all the way back, both clips. Remove the igniter wire. Igniter disconnects from the control board. You do not have to remove the cover. This can just pull straight out. Take this igniter, set it off to the side. Once we grab the new igniter, and replace it in the top plate. Screw it back down with the same T25 screws. Once both are in, we can reroute the igniter cable through the hold downs. Plug it back into the control board and affix it to the cover. We also want to make sure that our ground cable is rerouted as well. and plug that back into the top of the igniter. We want to make sure that the igniter cable is not touching anything metallic, be it the heat exchanger or the supply pipe. At this point, you're ready to go. Hopefully we answered your questions on how to replace the igniter on a PA series boiler. For more technical videos, please visit us at trianglecube.com.